Mr Speaker, quite incredibly, we've heard Labor member after Labor member defend what's the indefensible, a clear example of students who've been through the legal ringer because of a badly drafted law. Are Labor members serious that what these students, these QUT students said was hate speech? Well, they're living in la-la land because it does not equate to what the man or woman or reasonable person in the street would believe is hate speech. So what we have is a badly drafted law and bad excuses from Labor members who are desperate to hold on to it. Labor Party's strident defence tonight of the industry of offence is a case in point that they cannot differentiate between minor and major issues and want a process that punishes grievances equally, regardless of severity. And it is the process, not just the outcome, that is the punishment. As we have seen with the case of the three QUT students, the ones that we know about, the case took years to resolve, initially through the Human Rights Commission and then the court, at great cost, despite the judge ultimately finding it had no reasonable prospect of success. And yet, once again, I've heard Labor member after Labor member defending this law, this badly drafted law. The irony also is not lost on me that the Labor apologists throw out the hysterical and untrue accusations of racism and bigotry against people who simply disagree with them. They over-egg the omelette with their narrative of perpetual outrage. People have had a gutful of it. I think most Aussies are pretty tolerant and fair-minded. Everyday, community-minded Aussies who love their neighbours regardless of race do not believe that they do not appreciate being labelled as racists or bigots. Thus I say this for the defenders of the current 18C as it stands. To equate deliberate vilification that results in harm on one hand, equally with subjective and less serious claims of offence or insult, on the other hand, cheapens the issue of racism in a way where everybody loses. I strongly condemn obnoxious per, uh, personal comments that people make about others, whether it's based on race, religion or whatever makes them different from those who attack them. But I don't agree that every obnoxious comment deserves lawyering up and heading off the court or tying up the publicly funded Human Rights Commission. God help us if Queensland gets a Bill of Rights for unelected lefty loony lawyers to put the industry of offence on steroids. It will undermine the role of parliament which is subject to the vote of the people. Courts should be there to adjudicate the laws, not write them. And I think courts should be there used to judge crimes rather than low-level slights of personal offence. We are best served by a community where public debate is broad and capable of allowing voices of diversity to speak even when we don't agree and for them to be judged in that court of public opinion. The issue here is what is the appropriate forum for these issues to be debated or adjudicated and how matters different in nature and substance and, and how matters differ in nature and substance and what is a reasonable process to resolve them. The absurdity of the QUT students case that Labor members want to, uh, want to defend shows it's time for a review of the very broad and subjective scope of 18C in the Federal Government's Racial Discrimination Act and its application. I just find it incredible uh, that any reasonable person can defend the absurdity of the QUT students case which went for so long. In its current form, 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act has become a tool of the elites, ideologues, labour lawyers and lefty apparatchiks rather than a well-defined and carefully applied tool of protection against the worst case which actually result in harm. Where there are genuine issues of personal discrimination resulting in harm that people face in the community, this should not be tolerated. And this is where I think there is a case for well-defined legal protections. But these are different matters from the issues we saw resulting out of this case with the, with the QUD students under a far more wide-reaching gambit of the 18C, which has prompted this debate. In regard to issues of, of obnoxious but less serious insults and offence, I think our community can be trusted to respond in the court of public opinion with its own wide-ranging but ultimately moderating judgment. The overreach of the industry of offence undermines the very thing they claim to support, 
the safety and well-being of our community as it under undermines Mr. trust Speaker. in the law and the Thank things you. that Mr. talk Thank about you. it. Time's expired. Thank you, members. I